So in this problem, we're told in the high jump, the kinetic energy of an athlete is transformed into gravitational potential energy without the aid of a pull. With what minimum speed must the athlete leave the ground in order to lift his center of mass 2.1 meters and cross the bar with a speed of 0.7 meters per second? So first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. So we have this uh, high jumper and we know they're going to jump and we're, they're trying to cross this height of 2.1 meters uh, and the velocity is going to be 0.7 meters per second. And so what we're trying to find is the speed that they're going to have to jump with, right? So what is this minimum speed in order to be able to meet these requirements? Okay, so the way we're going to solve this is by using the law of conservation of energy, which tells us the initial energy, uh, E, we call it E1, has to be equal to the final energy. Because by the law of conservation, uh, we know that uh, energy can neither, neither be created nor destroyed. Therefore, the energy in the beginning has to be equal to the energy at the end. So how do we solve for this? So when we were talking about energy, there's two forms, kinetic and potential. So we denote these with K and U. So kinetic energy, which is the K, is equal to 1 half mb squared. Potential energy, or gravitational potential, uh, potential energy, is denoted by mgh. So these are the two formulas. So if we wanted to find the energy, uh, energy in the beginning, you would add up both of these. So 1 half mv1 squared, which is your kinetic, and then you would add your potential, mgh1. And we're only writing ones next to these because these values are just constants, the mass and gravi uh, gravitational constant. Or the acceleration due to gravity is just constant. So the energy at the end is just uh, the kinetic and potential, but keep in mind we would write two. So 1 half mv2 squared plus mgh2. So the v is just the velocity you're traveling, h is the height at that moment. So if we look at this in the beginning, uh, h2, or we know the velocity at the end is 0.7 meters per second, so we know v2. If we look at h2, h2 is the height at which they're trying to jump, 2.1 meters. And then v1 is what we're trying to solve for. We're trying to find the minimum speed for this to actually happen. Uh, and then h1 is the height in the beginning. So if we assume that they're trying to jump 2.1 uh, meters from the ground, and they start from the ground, their height is going to change 2.1 meters. Uh, and so basically what we're saying is if h2 is 2.1 meters, h1 is going to be uh, 0 meters. Because generally you just say the initial is 0, and then the end is going to be whatever you're trying to go up. So this is 0, and then 2.1 meters is the end. So h1 is actually 0 since we're just on the bottom here. Uh, so this h is 0, which makes this whole term uh, just go to 0 since uh, you're multiplying it by 0. So really what we have is 1 half mv1 squared is equal to 1 half mv2 squared plus mgh2. Uh, another thing you should notice is the mass, in, uh, we have a mass term in every single one. They're all the same value, therefore we can just cancel them out. So really we have 1 half v1 squared equals 1 half v2 squared plus gh2. Uh, and now we just got to solve for v1 uh, to get, so we got to get it in terms of that. So multiply both sides by 2. And then you would just square root uh, to get it by itself. So let me just rewrite it. Uh, so square root both sides. And then let me rewrite the final actual formula. So v1 equals the square root of 2 multiplied by 1 half v2 squared plus gh2. And now it's just a matter of plugging in the actual value. So v1 equals the square root of 2 times 1 half. Uh, they tell us the velocity. Uh, the second part is 0.7 meters per second. So 0.7 squared plus g, which is just the gravitational or acceleration due to gravity, 9.8, times h2, which was 2.1. So plugging that in, 2.1. And now it's just a matter of plugging it into our calculators. So uh, square root of 2 times 1 half. And so keep in mind that there's another parenthesis here, I forgot to write it, but 2 times 1 half times 0.7 squared Sorry about that, and you should find that it's going to be equal to uh, it's going to be equal to about 6 yeah, so about 6.45, sorry about that, 
and then the units are uh, meters per second since we're dealing with velocity. So 6.45 meters per second, that's going to be the minimum speed uh, which they have to jump in order to uh, right jump 2.1 meters in the air with uh, this speed at that time. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be your answer. And a quick summary, all we did was use the law of conservation of energy. And then, yeah, we just set the kinetic and potential at one point equal to the other point, And then canceled out terms and plugged them in and just solved. So pretty simple problem. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this uh, video helpful.